you know, my mama always told me when it's your time to receive God as your Lord and Savior, man, you know, you gon' get him. She couldn't make me be like this. I hate that it took this type of thing to happen for me to feel like that, but it better not than ever. It's just good to have God in your heart, man. If you don't believe in God, man, I'm telling you something, boy. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, he, you looking at it. I just pretty much just made it okay to die. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's all I can do. It ain't like you can go outside and fight it. It was only two days after the tornadoes had hit Beauregard. We were getting ready for a chaplain's meeting, and we looked out the door, and all of a sudden, this young man was walking up the door. He looked very distraught. He was crying. His hands were shaking. And he said, I just need to talk to somebody. I was looking for some, but I didn't know what I was looking for. You don't know what you're doing. You just know you need to be doing something. You, you can't imagine in your mind, but when you're there and you see it, and you walk around, you talk to the people, you see the chaos. And what God wants us to do as Christians, as chaplains, He wants us to try to bring some order to that chaos. It, it kind of make you feel like a guilty feel, but you, you ain't guilty. It ain't nothing you can do, you know what I'm saying? Because like the stuff I seen was just crazy, man. Like. Folk hollering, help, 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 help. Here you folk it coming from everywhere and you just like, crazy, crazy, crazy. When he walked in and he shared the horrible things that he had seen, as a chaplain, I thought, I'm not sure what to say to make him feel better. And then I just realized and God revealed to me, he's not gonna be able to make it without me. We knew this was very difficult, but we knew that the only way he was going to get through was if he had a personal relationship with Christ and that he would walk him through this. He would help him to overcome what he had seen. He would give him peace that passeth understanding. My wife was bold enough to ask him if he wanted to accept the Lord. It was probably the, the quickest response I've ever had sharing the gospel with somebody. He immediately said yes. It was crazy. It kind of felt like getting up, going to the pulpit, and getting baptized or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really changed. I'm not the same person. Like, I, 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 I had got to a point where I was, like, heartless. Like, but now I just love, man. Like, I just, like I said, I'm happy to be here. Like, the old Tremaine died March the 3rd, and the new Tremaine was born when I left out of the Billy Graham vehicle. We saw how God orchestrated events the rest of the day, starting with us, then actually taking him back out into his neighborhood. He handed out food and uh, just loved on them. That uh, rejuvenated him, that made him feel alive. I felt better. My heart felt better. Tremaine came back to us that afternoon with a smile on his face. He said, I don't want to cry anymore. He said, you told me there would be a transformation, but I didn't think it would happen this fast. And he laughed when he said that. I had on the same clothes and everything, but I looked different. It was a blessing to us. It, it really increased my faith. I want somebody to use this. You lost somebody, you lost everything. I want you to know that just believe in God, man. Just believe in him, man. If you believe in him, he's going to show you the way. He'll show you the way. The Bible says, for by grace are ye saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You cannot save yourself. There is not enough goodness that you could do to save yourself.